Hi, everyone. So by now, you're probably all thinking, enough of all these exciting new features in HitFilm 2, why don't you show us some of the boring stuff, right? Hopefully this stuff isn't actually that boring, but I do want to cover a few of the new features that aren't the most flashy or exciting, but are really useful and are things you're likely to use regularly. So, I'm Axel Wilkinson, and I'm going to show you the new RAM preview system, importing and exporting composite shots, customizing keyboard shortcuts, and the new auto-saving feature. We are really happy to introduce RAM Preview to HitFilm 2, which allows you to play back any timeline in real time, no matter how complex the effects are. The preview system is the same in both HitFilm 2 Ultimate and HitFilm 2 Express. The interface is nice and simple. There's a new preview button just to the right of the viewer scrub bar. So just position the playhead at the start of the area you want to preview and hit the preview button. The playhead will advance as each frame is rendered, and the rendered portion of the timeline will be marked by a lighter blue in the viewer scrub bar. Each frame will be previewed at the resolution you have selected in the render menu of the viewer. The preview will continue rendering either until it reaches the end of the timeline or until your computer's RAM is full. So if you're working on a very complex timeline, or if it's very long, then the more RAM you have installed in your machine, the better. If you aren't able to preview render the entire timeline at the resolution you have selected, you can reduce the render level to fit more of the timeline into the preview render. Once the area you want to preview is rendered, you can move the playhead and play that area back freely to see your scene in real time. So, there's the preview render system, which is implemented in both HitFilm 2 Ultimate and HitFilm 2 Express. Next, let's look at a new feature of HitFilm 2 Ultimate, which is the ability to import and export composite shots. Hugely useful in several different ways. First, it's useful just for transferring timelines between projects. So this composite shot, for example, I can take this entire shot with all of its layers and use the Save As command to export it as a HitFilm composite shot. So I'll just save this to my desktop real quick like, so that I can reference it. And then I can open a new project in HitFilm 2 Ultimate. And now to import that composite shot, I can just go into my import menu, choose composite shot, and then I'll go and select that file on the desktop that I just created, open it, and boom, the magic box composite shot is there. The assets folder contains all the related video files that are used or any other assets. And the entire timeline is now here in my new project as an exact copy of the original. This is really handy for transferring your work between projects. Okay, second, you can use this feature to create complex presets, essentially, that involve multiple layers. So, for example, here's a flamethrower effect I created based off Kaveh Robinette's Dragonfire. And in addition to the particles, I've used a grade layer to add displacement and glow to this effect. Now, suppose I want to create a preset that contains those grading effects. I can't do that as a 3D preset, but I can export a composite shot that contains all these layers set up and ready to use. Then I could share that with other users or import it into other projects I was working on. So you could eventually create an entire library of complex effects like this that you've created or other users created and shared that you could call on at any time. Third, you can create templates for motion graphics, which you can then use again anytime you need to. For example, remember this transition from the beginning of our video here? This is actually a template created by Josh, which he saved so that any of us here at the office could use it in our projects as well. So I can just import that into any project I'm working on, swap out a couple of video assets, edit the text a bit, and all of the animation is ready to go whenever I need it. A fourth way this is useful is that this is the system used to transfer tracking info from Mocha HitFilm. So when we track a scene in Mocha HitFilm, which is included with every copy of HitFilm 2 Ultimate, the camera data is exported as a HitFilm composite shot. So you can then, if we save that, I'll save it to my desktop real quick. And now back in HitFilm, I can use the import menu to import that composite shot. There I'll select my tracking data. I can import that. And now there's my shot. The camera is already animated to match the movement. The anchor points are in place, so I'm ready to just start adding effects right away. So those are some of the ways that the ability to import and export composite shots is going to be hugely useful 
to all you users of HitFilm 2 Ultimate. Next, we have added the ability for you to edit many of the keyboard shortcuts used by HitFilm so that you can map specific functions to the keys you would prefer to use. This is available in both HitFilm 2 Ultimate and Express and is accessed through the Options button in the File menu. Click the Shortcuts tab and you will see a list of all the shortcuts. Some of them cannot be edited and these are marked by a lock icon. To edit any of the others, simply click in the shortcut column and press the key or key combo you want to use. For example, maybe to set your in and out point you would like to use the keyboard shortcuts B for beginning and E for end. So if I click here in the shortcut column and type a B, I've changed that shortcut. Now I select the next one, hit E, and we see that we can't actually use that shortcut because it's being used by another command. So we could either edit the roll edit tool which is using it or we could select a different key or a key combo to set our out point. You can use modifier keys in your shortcuts as well so we could select this and use shift E or we could use control E or perhaps control alt shift E you can use whatever modifiers you want in setting up your shortcuts. Really the whole point of keyboard shortcuts is to make the software more efficient and quicker to use for you. So being able to edit the keyboard shortcuts to whatever your preferences are makes the software as efficient and comfortable as possible. Each command has a reset button here, this orange circle, which you can use to restore the defaults, or you can use the master reset for the entire tab to reset all of the keyboard shortcuts to their default settings. One more feature we have added is an autosave. Not really the most flashy or exciting feature, as you don't ever really see it working, but again, it's really useful. And it's included in both HitFilm 2 Ultimate and HitFilm 2 Express. In the Autosave tab, you can control how frequently a copy of your project is saved. By default, that's every 10 minutes, but if you want to change that, you can just enter a new value into that field. And you can adjust where the project is saved to. This is important to take note of. The autosave files do not overwrite your main project file, so you should always continue to save your project regularly, but behind the scenes at regular intervals, which you've set the frequency of here, a copy will be saved to this secondary location. And so that if something horrible happens and the power goes out in the middle of your editing or something, the next time you launch HitFilm, it will detect the latest autosaved version of your project that was created and you can instantly restore the project to that point to resume your work. So there you have it. Even though these new features aren't perhaps as flashy as some particle effects or importing 3D models or something, I'm sure, really all of us here at FX Home are sure, that you will find these features hugely useful in your daily use of HitFilm. So thanks for watching, and if you want to subscribe, I promise to show you something more exciting next time around.